Hi there, my name's Sean and I'll be your tour guide today. Originally hailing from New York City, I'm actually now a sophomore living in Cabot House, best house, concentrating in neurobiology on the mind-brain behavior track with a secondary in visual environmental studies on the film production track. Welcome to Harvard. Hi there, welcome to the Science Center Plaza. It's said that over 10,000 people will come through these doors every single day because there's a large number of things you can do in it. So one of the things I love about the Science Center Plaza is that during the summer, it becomes even more of a hub because we have all of these food trucks that line up from all different places in Boston. And in addition, we have crafts fairs, we have a weekly petting zoo, we have chess boards and beanbag chairs. So everyone loves to come out, whether to do homework or just chat or just grab a bite to eat. So looking over here now, we have Memorial Hall Complex, which is exactly where CS50 lectures are held. So if you want to follow me to our next stop, we'll talk more about it there. So welcome to the inside of Memorial Hall Complex. Now there's some really cool things about this building that you can see right here. First thing you notice is all of that stained glass. This building actually contains the second largest amount of secular stained glass in North America. Now why? This place was actually founded in 1870 as a war memorial, commemorating the lives lost of Harvard undergraduates who fought for the Union during the Civil War. Now, this building is filled with history, but it's also filled with a lot of cool other things. Some of you may recognize this building. It's actually the place where CS50 lectures take place. So this is actually just outside of Sanders Theater where David Malin actually gives his lectures. This space is really cool because it's actually three functions. First, there's Sanders Theater, but also below us there's a bunch of classrooms and rehearsal rooms, and just over that wall is the freshman dining hall, which looks like Hogwarts. If you don't believe me, Google it. But in any case, back to Sanders. So by day, we all know it as where CS50 takes place. By night, this place is also an incredible auditorium for a large amount of concerts run not only by students but famous performers. For instance, Wynton Marsalis. Last year we actually had Matt Damon as the recipient of the Arts First Medal of Honor. And then this year we actually have Margaret Atwood. So there's a lot of awesome things about having a space that's not only driven for academics but also for your extracurricular activities.